Well, hey guys, my pulverizer is not pulverizing anymore. I gotta go do a little wrenching on this bad boy. So y'all come on, I need your help. The entire bearing assembly is out of this. And if you look, see if I can lift it, see all the play in it. That is not supposed to be that way. That bearing assembly is completely gone. So anyway, let's work on getting all this pulled and see if we can get the new assembly in place. These have got two Allen lockings on it. Uh, this one's fairly loose already. And this one is boogered up. And yes, boogered is a technical term. Okay guys, fast forward a couple of weeks. I'm back working on this. Um, I had to get parts in and I've got the, them in now and when I started trying to take this bearing off as you guys can see I was having some issues. One of the problems was the main inner uh, shaft it was I don't know if it's gotten hot just rusted or what but I cannot get that off. So anyway I also got me a cutting blade for my grinder and I'm going to try. I tried everything else can't get this to move so I'm just going to cut it and then try to open it so I can get this off. This was the shaft. She was definitely froze up on there. But anyway, got that off. Uh, here, let me grab it here. Here is the new that goes on. Now I tried doing a test fit and I can't get it to go over. For some reason, I don't know if I've hit it or I, I don't know why these edges burred up. So anyway, while I got the grinder, I'm gonna work off this edge. I'm gonna keep working until I can get this to slide on smoothly. And then we will work on getting this remounted on the pulverizer. There we go. Right, it's been a while since I've had this off. It took me a minute or two to re-remember uh, how this thing goes together. I'll show you on this side. <clears throat> all right, first of all, on the bolts are different sizes, so they're kind of idiot proof. Uh, this one here is the this one here is the bigger one, and the one thing it has a collar on it for alignment, and the washers have two different sizes. This set this is sticking out just enough that it goes like that. So first thing you do on this is a frontier pulverizer is you pull that in, set this like this, do this, and now bring this in 
like so. And then once that's on, put this up over with the big fender washer and then lock it in. All right, and then pull these bolts off here. Right now, I've just got everything just getting their finger started. Now, I'm going to lift it off the ground. That way, I can move and adjust everything, and then we'll get it all up in place like it needs to be. Cool thing to see. So the way they fix this, they got it mechanically just perfect that the flats hits up on this, so you don't need a wrench on this side to hold it. Same thing is with the bottom. Now that that is done, I can finish tightening up this and get all this aligned up just like it needs to be. That's what I love. Well guys, this is the inner sleeve uh, for the bearing that was hung on there. Um, I don't know what caused this to get locked in because it's not really pitted or rusted on the inside. But anyway, as you can see, I took the grinder, opened it up so I could get a little spacing and I was able to get it off. We're gonna get this thing out and put her back to work, man. Well guys, I sure hope you're enjoying this content and if you will, please hit the like, share, and subscribe for me. I'd really appreciate it. Guys, you know here at Project Next One, there is always one more, so be sure to keep a lookout for more great videos coming. And for now, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.